And they're all there, right? When the devil's whispering in your ear these things to keep you away from that relationship with our Father, with Jesus. We'll go back to that advocate term, that legal term. So when John said that, he's suggesting a courtroom seat. So I want to take you there for a second in your mind. I want you to imagine that you're in a courtroom seat for a second. Because we know one thing to be true, and that is God, our Father in heaven, Abba Father, is the supreme judge. So he is the standard law, which is holy and righteous and good, Paul tells us in Romans 7.12. Alright? He says this, he is the standard law, which is holy, righteous, and good. So no one can stand before the judgment without guilt. Right? But believers can, because we have an advocate with the Father, and his name is Jesus. So in John 14, 6, Jesus calls the Holy Spirit another advocate. But before we jump there, I want to read you one of my favorite uh, passages in Scripture. Just to give you, because I really want to take you there from that courtroom scene. But I'm going to paint another scene for you that happens in the book of Acts. Okay? Happens in the book of Acts. They might know who the first Christian martyr was by any chance. Stephen. Oh, very good. Stephen. So we're talking about Stephen real quick, but I want you to hear this. So they put him to death. Long story short, Stephen had the opportunity to talk and defend himself. But what does he do? He defends the Father. He stands there and just, he just starts preaching and giving the Word of God to these people. All right? But this is what happens. When they heard this accusation, because now he was accusing them. Stephen not only explained it to them, but he, he made some accusations of himself of what they were doing against the kingdom of God. Right? Now what happens when you do that? You get people angry, right? The secular world, Satan, the enemy, does not like that, right? You'll start to see that sometimes if you pay attention to what's going on in the world today. The people that are speaking out about our Father in heaven are nowhere near as rich, popular, or famous as the people who are openly portraying Satan. Amen? <laughs> pay attention to what's happening in the world, and you will see this to be true. Okay? You will see that to be true. So here we go. So... They hear this, right? So he says, now when they heard this accusation, I'm in, by the way, Acts, if you have your Bible, I'm in Acts chapter 7, we start at verse 54. <laughs> now when they heard this accusation and understood its implication, they were cut to the heart, and they began grinding their teeth in rage. Well, where else do we hear wailing and grinding of teeth happen? Amen. Amen. Hell. But he, being, he, man Stephen, being full of the Holy Spirit and led by him, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of the great splendor and majesty of God. He is in the sight of red light. 